everybody, Dizzy Crafter here with another haul. Uh, this weekend there was the Hologanza at the Lavinia shop and obviously I had to go just because you all know I love Lavinia um, and it was the launch of like the clockwork stamps, the steampunk stamps so I really up my street the steampunk so I was really excited for this collection so I knew I had to get them so without further ado I'm going to just take everything out of the bag and then we can share with you what I actually purchased. I'll start at the beginning here, this is all kind of fallen this way. Um, this is one of the notepads which the gentleman actually gave me for free so I was really pleased about that. Um, I've kept looking at this in the past and I thought no you've got enough notepads you don't need it but now I've actually got one for absolutely free and I got some chocolates which is I've not got this colour so I'm really made up that we've got a different colour and then I got some of the fibres so these are really really pretty they had so many different colours and as you can see I've gone for like the greens and the blues which are the colours that I would generally lean towards so if I look at the colours I'd usually work with first then I'll gradually build up the other colours and then all I need to do is top up in the future so like this is like lots of blues and got bits of blacks bits of reds in there so that's really pretty and then we've got lots of different tones of greens in here and there's loads of threads in here I can't wait to open them in fact, let's open one and have a look. I'll probably never be able to get it back in the in the uh, packaging, but just want to show you, like so we've got like some ombre square stuff and we've got some stringy stuff, some wools. We've got another thread going on here. There's just so many going through. So that's that one. And then I got the turquoisey colours as well. So this was really the one that caught my eye. Let's again, take it out. This one here is the one that caught my eye and it so, feels so super soft. It's just, it's just beautiful. Then I ran out of the bookmarks. Um, I've been doing these, I've fallen in love with them so I thought right last time I got two lots this time I'll get three lots and hopefully that will keep me going but it just seems like that's all I seem to want to do of late but hey ho. Um, this is a collection so I'll get back to this in a moment so I'll open that separately. So I'll do the stencils so I collected, I picked up all the new stencils and this is Waffle they're all really really cool and I feel like they fit, fit the steampunk really well actually as well as other things as well and then we've got red brick then we've got ornate and I do prefer these bigger ones rather than the slimmer ones so I do I, I am really pleased that they've decided to bring them out majority of the new ones are like this in fact I think all the new ones are the big squares and this one is Nimbus, which I think is fabulous. And this one's Honeycomb. This one's Filigree. I love this one. This one's Cryptic Small. I think that's fab. I'm guessing this is Cryptic Large, and it is. And then we've got Crazy. Then we've got cogs and then we've got cobbles so they're all like the new 11 stencil they brought out um, I did pick up a few other stamps as well that uh, I didn't have before so these was the odd ones from the that I got diverted from the collection so we've got the Far World Castle and then we got Star Blossom and then we've got a shoal of fish. 
So I think they were the only three items I got that wasn't part of the new collection, um, to be honest, stamp wise. When I was there, there was lots of demonstrations going on and you all know I love Joe Rice and she asked us which card we wanted demonstrating and I'd, she'd had one, one of these there and she actually did it for us and then she gave it to me so I was really, really made up and I got her to sign it for me as well so I was really pleased with this absolutely beautiful artwork and I think I'm going to try and recreate it it will never be as good as Joe's but I'm going to still try and recreate it because it's absolutely stunning and then we've got the whole new collection this collection is me to a T and I'm really hoping that Tracy brings out more style of stamps like this then to add to this collection because it's just absolutely beautiful so this one is called heart small and then we've got rose sets these tiny little roses and then we've got talk this is a nice pocket watch sorry the glare there not really looking and then we've got tick, so we've got a tick and we've got a talk. Again, absolutely beautiful detail, all the cogs in the centre and stuff like that. And then we have Masquerade, which I absolutely love and I've seen like they've used this in numerous ways by putting it on the lady's face and stuff like that, as well as a background stamp too. Then we've got Angel Wings Small. And then we've got Heart Large, so it's exactly the same as this one but a much bigger scale. So you could do really good things with having the two different sizes. And then we've got the Goggles, which I've seen a really cool card with Noof and they put the goggles on Noof and I thought that was really cool. And then we've got Clock Set. So we've got a few clocks in this set, there's at least four they've come across now. I think this is probably going to be my favourite stamp of them all and it's just top, called Topper. And then we've got Cog Set 3. Apparently they've got, um, I think it was 8, so it's 2, 4, 6, oh, 7 cogs per set. I thought it was 8, I thought I'd heard 8, but I must have heard that wrong. Um, and then we've got Cog Set 2, so there's like lots of different sizes going on there. And I can just see another cog set, which is cog set one. So you can see like these are solid and this looks like just the outlines and stuff. So you've got a real good mixture of cogs going on. And then we've got the Angel Wings Large again. So the exact same stamp, but just different sizes. And then we've got some sentiments, which is called Time Flies. And the words say, Time is of the essence, the wheel of time, every second counts, time flies, time is the most valuable thing we can spend. So I love, like, I've been collecting quite a lot of the um, sentiment stamps. And then this is called World, Word of Steam. So this is Clockwork, Steampunk, and Tick Tock. And then we've got Steampunk Script. So, brilliant for the backgrounds, you can cut out each different words so we can stamp them all up and get lots of different words that way and then we've got lots of background stamps which Joe said they wasn't like the most sexy stamps and I get where she's coming from but I have a thing for background stamps so I do tend to go towards background stamps quite a lot within like my collections and stuff and this one's called textures free it's really cool then we've got a textures Four. This kind of reminds me of like cobblestones. I feel like it's more or less like this one. This is like a solid and this is like um, an outline as such. But I'd have to stamp it out to see if that is correct. And then we've got textures one, which is like mini pine, mini pine cones, mini honeycomb, sorry. Um, and I could imagine it being all different things really, like tights and stuff like that. Make a really cool background. And then we've got Textures 2, which is quite a big one. I feel like this is the largest one out of them all. And then we've got The Lady, which is called Zia. So you can do lots of things. I've got a thing like where I want to 
have animals and stuff coming out of the top of her head and stuff like that. I put the wings behind her and obviously the hat, the, the mask, everything. There's just so much you can do with her. And then the last one in this collection is called Numbers. So these are really good size numbers. They're not too small, but they're not too big in your face. So I'm really, really excited about this actual uh, collection. Like, I cannot wait to have a play. What do you guys think? Do you like this new collection or, or do you prefer it with it being like the fairies and stuff like that? Like I said, we had an amazing day um, there and there was lots and lots of demonstrations, so much like I didn't get a chance to watch them all. There was just so much going on. So I do thank everyone at Lavinia for actually putting on such a fabulous show and I cannot wait for, I think the next one maybe October or they may do one in between, I'm not too sure, but I know there's usually one in October. If you did manage to get to the show, just let me know and I'd love to hear what you thought and what you saw and what was your favourite demonstrations and did you get any, um, what's it, samples of the work because I made up with this, this really, really made my day and this will be proudly put on display in my room. So anyway, I'm just waffling as per usual. So I'd like to say a big thank you for watching. I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and comment and hopefully I shall catch you in the next video. Bye.